Hi, welcome to this tutorial. I'll be showing you how to convert an existing web application to use Ajax. It's really simple and um, shouldn't take us long to do it all. To start with, I'm going to load up Delphi for PHP and we need to obviously load or create our standard web application first. So I'll go and create a new application. I'll drag over an edit box a list box a button and a label so this standard web application is basically going to take whatever is in the edit box and populate the list box and um, the label is going to up be updated with whatever is we've, we've selected in the list box so we'll just quickly go in and create the standard web application to start with we're going to create an on click event for the button and this is just going to very basically update the list box with whatever is in the um, the edit box So we'll just save that and we'll save that locally somewhere. And we'll go ahead and run that. So just to make sure that it is actually working. Yep. It is updating our list box, that's what we want. So now we need to do is get the label to be updated with whatever we select in our list box. So to do that we go back to our design view and for the list box we need to create an on click event for our list box first of all I'm going to check to make sure that um, we have actually selected something in our list box so check to make sure that the item index is greater than negative one as you know with all arrays the first array or the first item in an array is always zero the second item is um, have, has an index of one third two four three and so forth so if it is negative one that basically means that nothing is selected so if the item index is greater than negative one then go ahead and update our label with the name that selected or the item that selected caption equals this this box items which obviously is an array so we need square brackets this this box item index right so we'll go ahead and save that and run it so we populate our this box with um, some stuff and then we select something there we go it's updating our list box no sorry not our list box our label right so there we go we've created our simple web application but as you can see every time we do something it reloads the page so how do we stop it from reloading but still display the information that we want? We use Ajax. So it's very simple to convert this application to use Ajax. First of all, we click on our form and the design view. In the object inspector, once our form is selected, i unit 10 or whatever it is when you create the application, we come down to um, use Ajax in the properties tab and we select true for use Ajax next thing we do is for our button we need to instead of creating an on click standard event for our button just get rid of that we need to create a JavaScript on click event so we'll go ahead and do that 
in here, what we're going to do is we're going to echo this button one. with Ajax core and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new function called update list box now the next thing we need to do is in our JavaScript code here we need to make sure that it returns false if it doesn't return false your page is going to update it is going to refresh which we don't want it to do so we have to return false All right now we need to create our function called update list box it will have a sender parameter and a params parameter passed to it which we're not going to use so we can just ignore them in here we do exactly the same as we did for our standard on click event which should be still here there it is so we can just copy that line and get rid of it because we no longer use it and we can paste it into our update list box function the next thing we need to do is go back to our design view and as you know when something is selected in a list box it updates our label so we have to do exactly the same thing for our list box under the events for the standard on click event we can get rid of that but in our javascript events we need to create an on click event and here it is here same thing we need to do is we need to echo a ajax call function but instead of it being button one it's going to be our list box one and then it'll be update the label so, and of course return false scroll down here just grab this line paste it and of course it's update label we scroll down here to where we've got our list box the the old function um, on click function for our list box we can this we can just copy that code delete that function since we no longer use it and put it into our update label function right so that's that's all there is to it this should now work so we'll go ahead and save that and we'll go ahead and run that so if we hit the button this should not reload but it um, should get added to our list box hey what do you know it works just populate that with some stuff and if we select something our label should update without reloading the page hey it works so there you go quite simple to do um, really easy to use Ajax with um, Delphi for PHP it's great for um, updating older web applications um, and yeah it's as simple as that so I hope you've enjoyed this um, tutorial and um, for other ones please visit um, www.delphi-php.net and um, we'll see you in the next one have fun bye